I'm Ella and I'm the Plants Meow and today I'm going to be talking about Ethereum stem propagation and specifically how to propagate Ethereums in perlite. So when you propagate an Ethereum through stem cuttings, you have to make sure you have at least two nodes on your Ethereum. Specifically here, my cuttings are probably a bit longer than some people do them just because I want to be sure that I'm not cutting through any nodes by accident so I have a little bit of wiggle room to spare but really as long as you have about an inch cutting you should be good just be aware of where those nodes are and if in doubt it's always better to be safe than sorry so cut a bigger section if you don't feel as confident in doing this. So here I've turned one queen anthurium into four pieces, so I'll have four plants out of these. So specifically when I propagate and perlite, the first thing I do is I get a net pot. Then I'm going to fill that net pot with a good amount of perlite. And I use perlite specifically because it provides a lot of air to our anthuriums and also it has the ability to wick up moisture because of all the little holes on the sides of perlite that you can't really see. So it's perfect for that moisture retention and giving them a great amount of air, which is awesome for anthuriums. So as soon as I get the amount of perlite that I want, I just kind of shove them in there, probably about halfway down the stem cutting. And usually in a six inch net pot, I put about two of my stem cuttings. Smaller net pots, I'll just put one stem cutting, but I like to kind of conserve space and do as many propagations as I can. So <laughs> the more the merrier. So the next thing I do is take a deep saucer. If you have a regular saucer, that'll work fine too. Just make sure you fill it a good amount for the regular sized one because you wanna make sure that a good amount of your net pot is sitting in that water. And also I add just a drop of Super Thrive, which helps with the transplant shock. Later when I go to water these anthuriums in their perlite, what I usually do is I use a liquid rooting hormone that's diluted, but at this point I just use the Super Thrive. So ideally, you'll have about a third of your net pot sitting in water. So the next thing I do after that is I get a pretty big Ziploc bag and I just place the whole thing inside of it. And that way they get lots of humidity in there. So I do reuse these Ziploc bags, but at the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you an alternative method I do use if you don't want to use Ziploc bags, but also not a lot of people are going to go out and get the thing that I actually do use. So if you, do, if you want to just quick, easy propagation, a Ziploc bag is a great idea. What you also want to do is make sure you blow some air into the Ziploc bag, just because you want to make sure that there's some breathability in the bag. And as you can see, the bottom of the net pot does have water and the perlite is currently wicking it up. So again, I'm just gonna show you one more time. This is the amount of water I have in my deep saucer. Then I'm just gonna stick my net pot into it. And this saucer itself isn't too big, so the net pot does sit elevated above it. So even though I had a ton of water in there, it's not sitting completely in that water. If you choose to use a wider saucer, I would definitely recommend putting less water in here because you don't want like half of your net pot sitting in water. You really want just it to be about a third. And 
there's our propagations. So that's quick and easy, very painless. So the next thing you're really gonna do is just kind of put it somewhere and forget about it. So what I usually do is I just put it in one of my greenhouses. You don't have to. I do it because I know there's good lighting in there. So just put it in a place where they can get some light and they'll be totally cool. The humidity they are getting comes from the bag so it's not necessary to put them in a greenhouse. I just do it because I don't want them sitting around my house. <laughs> And really quickly, I'm just gonna show you one of my propagations that I have from before. It's sitting in a bag of water, not a saucer, because I just didn't have a saucer at the time to use. And if you see, there's already a new leaf on one of them and there's a growth point on the other one. So it's been pretty successful. The green stuff that's sitting on the perlite is just algae, nothing bad for the plant, it's perfectly fine. And this is my perlite propagation from my previous perlite video where I talk about Ethereum propagation and perlite. And you can see she's doing very well transitioning to soil. So I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you my propagations in this terrarium. So I just have the net pots sitting in our saucers inside the terrarium instead of a bunch of Ziploc bags. That way they're in a contained space where the humidity does stay relatively high. Right now, because they're in the greenhouse, the humidity is good, but if it wasn't, I would definitely have something above them, like some kind of humidifier, or maybe even considering closing and sealing the top of it where there's holes and just sticking a fan inside with them. But overall, I love this propagation method. I think it's absolutely excellent. It works perfectly for my anthuriums, and it's definitely worth a try if you've never tried propagating anthuriums, or you just wanna go ahead and propagate a bunch of the ones you have now. It's really an excellent method. It's by far my favorite. They just seem to absolutely love this medium. I'm even considering growing a few of my anthuriums semi-hydroponically in perlite, so I will definitely do an update video if I do decide to do that. I'm very curious to see how successful that would be because I'm really just loving this perlite method and I wanna see like really where I can take it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think about this propagation method in the comments below and maybe a little propagation right now to help you stay more sane during this quarantine. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.